Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to keep working on some ephemera for the altered book. Uh, I need to make some cards for pockets as well as journaling cards because I do have some tags that I can use, but I think that we're mostly going to stick with the cards. Um, we're just going to make a few and see what we can come up with basically. Um, I have a lot of book pages that I need to use. Um, and there was this really, really cool idea. Um, I don't know who originated it, but I got the idea from Miss Gail. Um, I get a lot of ideas from Miss Gail. And um, basically, you just lay down a bunch of book pages here and you collage on top of the book pages. And then when you're done, you can cut them out to be cards or tags or whatever. So let's do a couple of those because that's exactly what I need. And so what I'm going to be using is um, any of the digitals that I have been um, using throughout the book. So my own as well as other people's. Um, let's see. Let's do it this way. We're just going to lay this down. This is my folder that I was using in the last video to not glued to my book. All right, um, I don't need the tape gun. So I don't think we're gonna use vellum here. Maybe, but I don't think we are. All right, so let's see. We've got those, which need to get cut out. But we're not gonna use those. Wait, oh, we've got some coffee dyed paper. We can use some of that. Um, actually, let's go ahead and put that down. So, um, I don't know how I want to do that. We'll figure that part out last. So I haven't done this before. Can you see, can you, can you guess? This is very new to me. It's uh, something we're trying out for the first time. Oh, there's a piece of scraps that's left over. That one's from Medieval Mirage. Um, please don't fall over. I can see you trying to. All right. Um, Miss Steph over here is trying to fall down the boom. And I don't want it to. I mean, nobody ever really wants their stuff to fall down good, then. All right. Behave yourselves. All right. So let's do. I don't think it really matters because we're just going to cover it up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this down to put these two pages together. I'm just going to use my glue stick here. Because these pages are going to be completely covered up. So it's not going to matter if the words are upside down. It will matter if I glue it to the folder though. So let's not do that. Alright, so these we figured are ephemera. So we're not going to use that. Um... This is pretty. Let's use that. I don't really want to cut out that rose up there. Let's use it on the bottom here. Oh, what we could do is we could add another page. So I have four pages here I want to use. So let's do that. And there's really no rhyme or reason or like right or wrong answer. It's literally just collaging. So there's no thinking to it. You just grab something that's pretty 
that you've used in the book already and or project, whatever project you're working on, because it doesn't have to be a journal or a book. Because, I mean, to be honest, we all make all kinds of things. We don't just stick to journals. I know I don't. I actually, the bulk of what I make is not journals. So it's kind of ironic. Um, people ask me what I do, and my answer is always, oh, I make journals. In reality, it's that is a very, very small fraction of what I do. Um, and this is also a really great way to use up your scraps. Um, and like I said, I got this idea from Gail. I don't know who she got this idea from, but it is a great way to use up scraps and make uh, tags and cards and pockets for the project that you've been working on. Okay. Mm, I really want that flower. Right, let's put the flower. I do want to cover her up. That's the queen in the uh, Alice in Wonderland. We don't need her. But I did use this paper in the book because um, I thought it looked really nice and it matched. So and she's gone. There we go. Okay use this flower too. Put you, let's put you upside down. I like that. What do you think? I like that flower. And your gluing doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because you, if you sew around your pockets and tags, then um, the sewing will help keep everything together. I like the lines on here. Let's try to keep those. And also, the more you add stuff, the more glue you're putting on there. So, um, it's not going to go anywhere. Let's put you, let's put you in the corner up here. some good writing paper. Maybe we should put some on the back. Oh, let me click off of this. Uh, let's close that and then there we go. Because I'm quite feisty over here with this glue stick and papers and whatnot and I don't want to accidentally stop the video. If I knew how to edit on this computer, I wouldn't mind, but I don't. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna, yeah, let it be. All right, and then this has got some lines on it, so let's put that on the back somewhere too. Um, let's go this route. I think. Let's trim this up first. Where'd you go? Scissors. Scissors. Oh, scissors. Really? How did I? There they are. They're underneath the vellum that I was just like, oh, I'm not going to use this today. I should probably put this in the other folder that we're not going to mess with today. Because, I mean, that's what it where it goes anyway. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, folders, folders everywhere. All right. And cutting them, cutting this up now is just going to help me be able to see, like, in the long run. Like, where the edge is. Because I'm doing both sides right now. Uh, when Miss Gail did it, she only did one side at a time. Um, but I have this really great journal paper. So I figured it would be a shame to waste it. So we're using it. Let's see what else we got. I think that folder's empty. Yay! We used it all. Okay, next. Uh, that's Christmas. We don't need that. This one is shabby. All right, let's see. I don't know if we used a lot of this one, but I know it'll match. That's why I printed it out. So let's go with this one here. This is actually linen paper. It's not fabric, it's linen paper. So there is a little bit of a difference. Um, let's go, I don't know where to put this. Let's go right there. I think, um, hmm, hum, hum, hum. Okay, so I really want this flower, so let's put this on this side. There we go. Um, okay, well, I have two of them, because apparently I had two pieces of paper and it printed the same thing. So, let's do this one here. Yeah, let's go there. I'll do it over here too. Alright, there we go. That's better. It's actually a pretty nice sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Sydney's in the living room playing right now with Porter. It's pretty awesome to hear her playing around again. She was very, uh, I want to say lethargic, but by definition, she she was responsive. So that wasn't that's not the right word. Um, but. She just didn't really have a lot of energy to do things. Oh, they're not the same. This one's got lines, the other one doesn't. Thunk. So I may not actually need the coffee dyed paper. Thunk. <laughs> It likes going thunk. All right, and then this one, these are also lined or not lined or whatever. Put you over here in this corner. I'm actually going to save this. This is a pretty nice chunk of paper. So we're going to save that. And let's see. Put you right there. I guess it would help if I pulled the glue out of the glue stick. 
It might help a little bit. Just a smidge. Okay. All right, let's go back to this side. See, these are full sheets, so I'm not sure I really want to tear them apart. So let's move on to a different one. I think I used a lot of vellum from the digitals, I mean. Yeah, this is vellum. You can still add it though. It would just be on top of, you know, whatever. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and use those. Uh, that one's a scrap, that one's a scrap. Yeah, those are scraps. Um, those are big full pieces, so I'm not going to use those. And then the last one is mine, so we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so let's actually, let's add the vellum on top. So I'll go ahead and do mine now. Alright, so these are our already cut pieces. Um, and again, that's no rhyme, no reason. You don't have to think about it. Just lay it down. Um... Oh, there's smaller pieces. I was going to say, I knew I had smaller pieces in here. So anyway, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing well. We are all doing well. Like I said a minute ago, it's nice to hear Sydney's playing around again. She hasn't really had a lot of energy. I mean, go figure. You can get your energy from a big portion of your energy from eating, and when you're not eating, well, you don't have that much energy. So, it's nice to see, it's nice to hear that she's playing around again, you know. Um, let's go here. She probably put some of these blank ones on the back because they're well blank. Okay. Let's go to the back. I still hear her in there. I don't know what she's doing, but she's chew chewing it. Whatever that means. Alright, you could also put some coffee dyed paper back here. Alright, do I have any little ones left? I don't think so. I think we've used all of the little bitty pieces. Oh, wait, I see something. Oh, yeah, it's that. I'm not messing with that. That's uh, fussy cutty stuff. And let's grab this one. This one's pretty cool. Need to be just a smidge longer, but that's okay. Oh no, come over here. Alright. There's that. 
and kind of like that blue popping through. That's pretty nice. And there's that. And let go of my finger. I have glue on my finger, so it's stuck to my finger. And this is just regular copy paper that this is printed on. All right, let's see. Here. Okay. Like a soap. And like a soap. need a little bit of glue right there. Just a needle. Alright. Um, let's see. I want you. I'm going to go a little tiny one. Like right here. Because I want to cover that up. And I'm sure that this works a lot better the more digitals you have. I'm still working on my library of digitals. Um, I have bought a few, and with me being on the design team um, for Daisy, I have uh, quite a few of hers. So that is really awesome. Um, but that is my next project. That is definitely my next project. After this book is finished, I've got to get that project done. Um, let's see, let's go here, I think, um, oh, there we go, there we go, that's pretty perfect, all right, just trying to like cover up this really odd shaped text here. There we go. Okay. And then we've got these pieces left here. Um, and this one. And this one. And we'll put this on the back. Right there. Okay. And then I think. I think that's it. So let's grab that coffee bag paper back. Do uh, this one. This is some coffee bag paper that I did myself uh, many a moon ago. Yep. Bloop, bloop. 
I have so much glue on my fingers right now. It's fine. All right, so like I said, I've never done this before. This is my first time. So hopefully it will turn out okay. And I'm sure the more you do it, the more you have an idea of what you want it to look like in the end. And I mean, you could just cover the whole back with just copy dyed paper. And I'm sure it would look perfectly fine. Like that tag that I put in the book earlier, it, it was just covered, the whole back of it was just covered with one sheet of coffee dyed paper. And that was it. And did I just use, no. I was like, there's no way I used all of that. So I just need like a tiny strip. Mm. So I was deciding if I wanted something else, but the whole point of this is not to think, so we're going with it. All right. I think it is all covered. I think. Front and the back. Oh no, it's not right here. But we can add these little pieces here over here. I mean, we put the front on the back. Why can't we put some of the back on the front, right? Is that how that works? All right, and then a little piece right there. But no, I do not keep those, just in case somebody is wondering. I do not. I know there's someone out there that just gasped at me, but uh, I am starting to get used to keeping my scraps, uh, if they're reasonable scraps. Um, I do not keep every single tiny sliver of paper. I just don't have the space to do that. All right, so there is that. Nope. Our nice pretty collage on both sides. So now we need to figure out, are we going to use this? I think it'd be really cool actually to add some of that vellum on top. I don't know if this will stick to vellum. No idea. Never tried. But we're going to find out. I mean, it is Uhu. Uhu is a great glue stick, so let's hope it stays. I mean, it would help if I actually put glue everywhere. There's that, and then this one, it printed all wonky. What it did it is it picked up um, a second sheet of vellum and then printed on both of them. I'm like, no, no, you're not supposed to do that. All right, uh, let's put you there. So I'm only going to keep it on the front, not the back, because I don't know how easy it is to write on vellum. Eek. Alright. Okay. 
and then we'll put you right there. Some glue on my finger now. There's that one. And then that. Okay. Had to figure out which way it went. It's like, which way does it go? Which way does it go? I keep touching all the other stuff that I've laid down already and then peeling it up because I'm being so rough with my glue stick. This ooze in my bell is not so bad so far. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And we've only got a few sheets left of the scraps. So we'll use the smallest ones first. Don't need that. Then we need to figure out how big we want our pockets, tags, or whatever. So I'm going to measure the pages and figure out how big I want each of the pockets to be. But I do that after I'm done. That way the measurement doesn't subconsciously affect how I lay things down, you know. I just lay them down all willy-nilly and just do it. This oof is pretty cool though for this vellum. Wasn't sure, but it's working quite nicely. I'm not sure if that's how I just laid that down, but that's how it's going down now. <laughs> one piece left. I do like how easy it is to tear vellum. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's go straight across the top here. Like that. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright. Okay. 
All right. So we've used up some of our scraps that we used on the book and still have one left. I'm not keeping that. Um, it'll just get lost. This I will keep. And then these guys, I will keep these guys. Put them over there. Bloop. Put this back over here. Now that you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'm putting it back on my desk, on the side part of my desk, so it's not in the way. I have glue everywhere. All right, so what we're going to do is, where's that? Oh, actually, let's grab our book real quick, and we'll give this a second to dry a little bit more. And let's grab our ruler and see about how long so I would say five and three quarters um, but we don't want it the full measurement of the page so I would say five and a half because the zero is right here and if we do five and a half that'll be it, the full length of the page with a little tight maybe an eighth of an inch wiggle room and then I would say probably, what size is this other one? This one is three inches. What size is this one? I love this page. There you are. This one is almost four inches, just shy of four inches. So probably three and seven eighths. So what did we say? Five and a half? So five and a half wide. So anywhere between three and four inches for the pocket, for the height. So let's make some pockets. All right. Um, Let's see. I don't know how I want to do this. <laughs> All right. Let's clean this up first. That is what I want to do first. Okay. Now I can just go straight across and how wide are you? Uh, yeah, I could probably get two pockets out of it that way. So let's do five and a half. And five and a half. Oof. And five and a half. And that's a pretty nice size tag right there. All right, let's see what measurements can we do with you. Yep, right there, three inches. Perfect. And then clean this up just a smidge. Ow. Try that again. There we go. All right, so we have a tag. That's pretty cool. I am definitely digging this. All right, and then we will make our pockets the right size. So we clean them up just a little bit. Let's see, let's do this one four and a quarter, or four and three quarters. So that's one. And then this one is also four and a quarter, but we're just gonna clean this up just ever so slightly. There we go. So it's just shy of four and three quarters. Like, there's the line right there. 
there's that. And let's clean this up a smidge. Okay. And we're going to put you at four and three quarters. And then this one. Oh man, that turned out really cool. I like this one. That's just, that is so cool. I didn't expect it to turn out that, that like amazing, honestly, because it's the first time that I had done it. I didn't think it would turn out quite that cool. I think next time I might do a little more than four pages. This was only four pages. So let's make sure my line is straight. Oh, colors is playing. Or it's about to play. That's okay. I don't think you guys will hear it. Um, I mean, my window is right here, but it's not open. And the fire station isn't like super duper close. Okay, so this one's actually only going to be three and a half. There we go. But that's okay. So, so cool. Oh my gosh, thank you whoever came up with that idea and thank you Ms. Gail for doing it so often that I felt like I just had to try it. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know that she watches my channel to be honest with you. Um, I know that she has watched a couple of my videos because she's commented, but I don't know if she's like a regular watcher. But if you are, thank you so much. All right, so this is going to be a tag, so let's make into a tag and yes I just named my tag of her because she's party oh no stay okay sorry it was moving around on me oh that is so cool mm. oh, oh, oh. oh and the back oh I didn't even look at the backs Oh my gosh, so cool. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so cool. Okay, so these are all going to be pockets here, or cards or something. But um, let's figure out which ones we want. So this one's a tag. Um, I think we'll make this one into a pocket. Um, I think we'll make this one into a pocket and I think we'll make this one into a pocket and I think, um, Make that one. So we'll have two cards, a tag, and four pockets. So let's grab our punchy thing and punch this out. Let's see if we can't make it center though. That would be super helpful. here. Okay. This one, let's see, which way do I want this? Like this way. And this one goes this way. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Oh, I have to do that more often. And I definitely need more digital. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, that is so cool. So, so cool. Okay, so we made four pockets and we can still decorate them. That's the thing about it is they're super flat so you can still decorate them or you can put them in straight as is 
but they're already like decorated because they're quite oh this is just genius i love this okay so anyway i'm sorry i got excited uh we got four pockets i am going to go ahead and sew around these but i'm not going to do that on, do that on camera and we have two cards because they have really good journaling space on the back of them so we got two cards and then a tag that also has a really good chunk of journaling space on it so i think we did really amazing for 45 minutes that was great so anyway thank you guys so much for joining with me on my very first time doing this this is really fun i'm definitely gonna have to do it some more um but thank you guys so much for joining me and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye guys